Hi guys, Kate from Teacher Kids Code. I am super excited today about this new coding toy that I just got to try out. Thanks to the brand for sending to me for review. I'm always looking for coding toys that will get kids excited about coding and motivated to learn to code. And this one honestly is a home run. This toy is super fun and really um, gets kids to learn about coding in a fun way. I mean, as you can see, it is shaped like a video game controller and on the screen you can actually create your own video games and the thing that's cool about it is that the video games that I'll show you that you can create are not that hard they take you through beginner levels all the way up to advanced so you don't have to be coding your own full video game to be able to get any enjoyment out of this. You can use their pre-programmed modules where you're only going to have to code a few things and you'll be able to, you know, get what's needed out of it. Um, so first I'm going to show you the assembly process. So let's show you how I assembled this model. Assembly of the retro arcade was super easy. It took me about 10 minutes total and I think it would be a fun project to do with your child uh, to get them interested in electronics assembly and learn about following instructions. Um, it came with everything you need and um, including the little tiny screwdriver to screw in the nuts and bolts. And then you set up the game controller by adding the buttons and the micro bit on top. So what you're going to want to do is go to the Make Code Arcade platform to get started with coding your simple games. And that's at arcade.makecode.com and this is the Microsoft platform. As you can see here, there's a variety of different tutorials and skill maps to teach kids about how to code their own games. Uh, I started off by signing into my son's account as he's the one that's doing the coding. And then he went in and chose the Code and Adventure game. He's done some scratch coding. This is a block-based coding program. And so he kind of skipped ahead to the intermediate modules, but of course you'll do beginner if you're just getting started. So this Code Your Own Adventure is kind of like a choose your own adventure game and it uses a text-based um, adventure to learn to code. And so you simply just click on each of the levels. There's three levels to complete and it will load up the game and take you through step by step on how to complete this tutorial. So in this platform, you'll see on the left hand side, the instructions, and then you'll see your block based coding in the center of the screen. And right to the right, you'll see a model of the actual game platform to see what it looks like. So you essentially just read the instructions on the left-hand side and it takes you through everything that you need. So you start off by dragging your blocks. So it's asking you to add the traveling minstrel approaches and asks you to join her adventure. And so you just pick up this block and drag it across to your main screen. And now that's gonna be the start of your game. And all these instructions are really clearly laid out on the side here. And then you can even change your text to customize your game and make it your own. So you'll click next and it will take you through what to do and show you an example of what you've done so far. And this is how you complete this module. It goes step by step through exactly how to create the game using this drag and drop block based coding. Block-based coding is definitely the way to start for beginners who are just learning to code. So this was my son's creation. I just let him do this tutorial on his own. I didn't really provide any input and he was able to create his own game and download it to the device and make this choose your own adventure. So I thought that was pretty cool that he was able to do this all on his own without any of my guidance and was actually able to come up with something. Next, I want to show you the rest of the Make Code Arcade because there's a lot of really cool options to learn some more sophisticated games. So there are the beginner and next level skill maps and I do recommend that um, your kids go through those to really get a handle on block-based coding. But there's also some fun tutorials for some other games like Target Practice, um, some multiplayer games, and then even live coding of things like the Space Arcade game, which is a really popular one. 
There's also these blocks games that have already been created. So I'm just gonna click on Jumpy Platformer here and show you that you can also just download and play a game that's already been pre-coded. So here you'll open up the example. I think it's actually really helpful for kids to see an example of a completed game and then they can make tweaks to the code. That's how kids really learn to code uh, to start. They don't create the whole game themselves. They just start making some tweaks. So here, let's click on the sprite and maybe let's change the color from purple to red. Uh, just learning to change the algorithm and seeing how that affects the output on the game is really what a part of coding is and learning to debug and find errors is a big part of the beginner steps in coding. So I think using these examples will let your kids have the high reward right away of the game, but also uh, learn some coding in the meantime. So you can see on the side here, you can see an example of the game. So you can actually click the buttons and play the game as it was designed in your code. It's of course hard to play the game with a mouse. So when you're clicking on the sides there, you can't press A and the side at the same time. So you're gonna wanna download the game to your actual retro arcade so that you can play it properly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click these three dots at the bottom and you're going to click choose hardware. Then it will give you the options of all the different types of arcades that you can choose and you're going to go with the micro bit retro shield and then you're going to click download and it's going to download a file to your computer so now once you have that file on your computer you drag it to your micro bit and there we go it's on our screen and so you can see that you can now have a fully functional game you can press the buttons here and now, because you can use both your hands, you can jump and move to the side at the same time. And this game certainly brings back some nostalgia from when I was younger. Uh, this is really definitely a retro game. And it's really cool to be able to play something that you were able to see the coding for. So overall, I'm super excited about this retro arcade. Any chance for my kids to play video games, which is what they love, but also make it educational by coding, I am all over it. I think it's a really fun tool to get kids excited about coding who love video games.